Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. For all of your coffee and glam needs, visit www.glamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And let's get into this. So first, I'd like to um, say thank you for you guys that... participated in the President's Day sales, I would greatly appreciate it. I'd also like to thank those who um, have been donated to the channel. That is greatly appreciated. I hope everybody can hear. Okay. Wow. I hope everybody can hear. I can't find that. I got my AirPod Pros in, so hopefully. <clears throat> so, angel is strength in reverse. Somebody's not feeling too strong about something. Or I feel like somebody's in a giving up energy. They're just about to give up. Don't, because transformation is getting ready to happen. Patience. So, there's some conflict going on around you. One minus six is five. This is five. Five, 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 five. So there may be some instability and challenges going on around you right now. Okay, I feel like some of you guys are, the, are getting ready to give up on something, and it's just before transformation is getting ready to happen. Okay, so persist in whatever assumption that you've created. Persist in the affirmation. Okay, this is where the work comes in. When you don't see any movement, but the, actually the universe is working things out for you. Okay. A lot of y'all give up before, um, right before. If you ever heard that story, what was that story about the man who went to California looking for gold? That was during the gold rush era. And he went to California looking for gold. He dug and dug and dug. And I don't know that I'm saying this story all the way correctly, but the gist of it was he dug and dug. And I think he ran out of money. His family ran out of money, so they left. A new person comes with their family and starts digging in the same spot. And like they only had like that much room to dig and they struck gold. So the person gave up and quit right before they were about to hit strike gold. A lot of y'all with this angel of strength in reverse, a lot of y'all are, are wanting to give up on something or getting ready to give up on something and transformation is right here. Okay. You, you, you're getting ready to go from a five to a six. Four plus two is six with one with, with woman holding a coin. So for some of you, you may be affirming for business um, prosperity, maybe affirming for money, maybe affirm, affirming for a job, and you don't see any movement. But there's always movement. There's always movement. Every time you say an affirmation or put it out there, you're changing the energy, you're manipulating the energy. So there's always movement. I feel like with universe up under the woman holding the coin, it whatever your affirmation is, is about to be is about to be a reality. It's about to come into the 3D. Because it's already created. Okay? There's nothing <clears throat> there's nothing that has not already been created. There's nothing that you could want that is not already here in creation. Okay? So So a lot of y'all go back and forth. Wow, 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 wow. Now how weird is that? That okay. Angel of Strength and the strength card are the same to me. Leo energy. It's in the reverse in the oracle in the upright in tarot. The 
tower is transformation in the oracle. They're both upright. And then you got the five of pentacles, Leo, uh, Taurus energy, and the tower, Scorpio energy. So I feel like you go back and forth between standing, which is why a lot of you are doing these affirmations and you haven't seen any movement or any changes. It's because you're going, you're flip-flopping between standing on, standing firm on what it is that you're affirming for, standing firm on the new story, and then you go back to the old story with the age of strength in reverse. Um, again, with transformation coming out twice, I feel like you're right on the cusp of things changing if you don't abandon it. If you don't abandon the affirmation, if you don't abandon your stance on whatever affirmation that you're using, you have to stand firm on that. Okay. Some of you guys are affirming for money. Clarify this transformation. Yeah. A lot of y'all are losing faith. Okay. Star card in reverse, Aquarius energy. A lot of y'all are losing faith in the process. But again, with this full card coming out, you're right there. You're right on the edge. Okay, you're right on the edge. I feel like you're right on the edge of long-term stability. Okay, of things changing and transforming for the better, or, or, or for um, in a way that benefits you. You're right there, but a lot of y'all are losing faith. Okay, with the star card in reverse, fool card is Aries energy. Patience is required. Standing firm. Clarify patience. Yep. Holding on to the affirmation will bring you success and stability. Okay. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Patience will balance the scales. Okay. And make things right. Also, I see for some of y'all, I can't get away from the fact that some of y'all are getting a divorce. Okay. And I feel like there's somebody here that's trying to hold out, maybe monetarily from you, they're trying to hold out. Or they may be trying to hold on to this. They may be trying to hold on to the relationship. Okay. They may be trying to hold on to the relationship. But this person has. This person has secrets around this commitment. This person may have another sequel, secret sexual partner. Ace of Wands. Um, Aries. Leo. Sagittarius energy. Pisces here with the moon card. Taurus here with the um, Hierophant. Y'all are walking away for those who are going through a divorce, okay? So, I feel like in both instances, patience is going to be needed. Because somebody here may be trying to hold on to a situation that you want to walk away from or that you have walked away from. On the flip side of that, also, holding on to your affirmation, whatever it is that you're affirming, will bring you stability, okay? And will balance things out for you. Justice card, Libra energy. Clarify conflict in the peace. Yeah, there's definitely some conflict here that you have with somebody. This this is the conflict in the feet card coming out on top of the conflict in the feet card. Okay, I feel like this conflict in defeat because somebody does not want you to be single. This King of Swords energy bottom of the deck does not want you to be single, and they definitely don't want you to be single and prosperous. Okay, so I feel like they're trying to stop you from moving forward. With this chariot card. Some of you are purchasing a new vehicle. Or will we will be purchasing a new vehicle? For some of you guys, somebody may have tried to sabotage your vehicle or do something to your vehicle. Aquarius energy here, chariot card, cancer energy, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. But there's somebody here trying to stop you from moving forward. Stop trying to stop you from moving forward and being single and trying to stop you from moving forward and being prosperous at that. This King of Swords energy. I feel like this person is wearing you down. Okay? Or you're very guarded against this person. Or you should be setting boundaries with this person. Or you have, but this person is still lurking. Pay the Swords energy. Clarify woman holding a coin. I think I said this in another reading, maybe a couple weeks ago. 
there's somebody here that's gonna there's a woman here because i and it's a woman because I, it says woman with, with with a coin i guess it doesn't have to be though but there's somebody here that's gonna help you there's somebody here that's gonna help you could be a lawyer okay could be a lawyer or somebody here is going to help you gain that monetary and and i feel like this is for the people who are going through a divorce okay i feel like there's somebody here that's strategizing against you with this seven of swords aquarius energy but i feel like there's a woman here could be your lawyer could be there's somebody here that's going to help you acquire that monetary and i feel like it's from a family situation Mature woman, mature woman, and thief. Here, I feel like there's somebody here in six, 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 <laughs> six, two plus four is six, four plus two is six. I feel like there's somebody here, a woman, okay, that's going to help you, that's going to help you plan or strategize your way into this monetary game, okay. I feel like somebody's trying to hold money back from you, okay? Put you in a poverty situation. I feel like this is for people who were in long-term committed relationships or marriages or something like that, especially if you're going through divorce and they're trying to hide money or something like that. They're, they're essentially stealing what, what you're entitled to, okay? I feel like there's going to be a woman here that is going to help you acquire what it is that you need, Okay? Some of you may have, some of you may be dealing with somebody and you're like the male is younger and you're older, okay? And they're trying to get money from you that way. I feel like there's somebody here that's going to help you. Take that how that resonates. That's specific, specific. But I feel like this universe has brought, the universe has brought this person to you. Or you may have been assuming that somebody's going to come along and help me. Somebody's going to come along and help me. Well, that help is here. Clarify the universe. Yes, some of y'all are in. Ooh, I love to see that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, I don't love that though because that's what I'm saying over here. Some of y'all are wavering on what it is. Um, you need to stand firm on your affirmations and your assumptions. Okay. Some of y'all are manifesting things, but you're going back and forth because you don't see the movement. Okay. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. That magician, Gemini, Virgo, energy, patience. Once again, patience will be a virtue. Because I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting is coming in. You're going to see it. You're going to see it here. Okay? You're going to see it. But I feel like patience is a virtue here. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, energy. Three of Cups, Cancer, energy. I feel like it's, it's, it's something that you've been waiting on for a while. But I feel like the wait has been long because you keep going back and forth. I see it all over here. I see it. So, Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.